And after experiencing its own collapse on Monday, South Korean stock market opened with a sharp rebound on Tuesday. Fluctuations in the domestic market have led to trading curbs being activated for the first time in over four years. Our Moon Haedon has the details. Following on from Monday's stock market crash, South Korean shares are showing a sharp rebound as the country's finance authorities attempt to reassure investors. On Tuesday, the country's benchmark KOSPI opened 3.76 percent higher at 2,533.34 and continued to peak throughout the first few minutes until a sidecar trading curb halted trading for five minutes at 9.06 a.m. A sidecar is set in motion to prevent steep price movements and the KOSPI 200 futures was up by more than 5 percent at the time of the curb coming into play. It's the first time since June 2020 that the sidecar has been activated over a surge in the main KOSPI. The more tech-heavy Kosdaq also showed rapid gains of more than 5 percent on Tuesday, surpassing the 700 mark once again. A sidecar was activated for the Kosdaq at the same time as the KOSPI as a result. This comes following the country's worst session since the global financial crisis of 2008, with the circuit breaker trading curve that halted trading for 20 minutes activated for the first time in four years. The Cosby ended the session on Monday after falling by more than 8 percent, while the Cosdat closed after shedding over 11 percent. Tech shares such as Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix tracked heavy losses amid heightened concerns of a slump in U.S. big tech stocks and a slowdown in the world's biggest economy following on from weak U.S. employment data. To stabilize the market and calm investor sentiment, South Korea's financial authorities have issued several comments. On Tuesday morning, Finance Minister Choi Sang-mok held an emergency macroeconomic and financial affairs meeting with the head of the central bank, the Financial Services Commission chairman and the Financial Supervisory Service governor. They commented that the country's stock market crash was unusual as it reflected an external shock as opposed to events unfolding at home, and attributed the market volatility to several factors, such as the U.S. July employment data and geopolitical uncertainty in the Middle East. The finance minister reaffirmed that related agencies would continue to operate an around-the-clock monitoring system and work closely together in line with contingency plans if necessary. Moon Haeryeon, Arirang News.